Welcome to Dr. Tom Talks. Today, a special on the coronavirus vaccine. With the help of the biodigital human, I'm going to be talking about the exciting recent news by Pfizer, who claim that they have developed an mRNA vaccine that is 90% effective against the coronavirus. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about that study, about how the mRNA vaccine works, and whether this means we can all now forget about coronavirus and relax finally. First of all, a look at the study. It's currently in phase three clinical trials, which means that it's gone past phase one and phase two. So it's looking at larger numbers of people, about 40,000 people, and it's looking into the efficacy, so whether the vaccine works, and the safety of the vaccine. And the quote about it being 90% effective, I just want to explain what that means. So among those who received the vaccine, there were more than 90% fewer symptomatic cases of COVID-19. So in this particular study, it's split up into patients receiving the vaccine or receiving a placebo. So that's a pretty good uh, number. And I'll talk about whether that means that we can relax and whether this means the end for COVID-19 at the end of this. But first, how do mRNA vaccines work? Well, with the help of the biological human, I'm going to show you. So here's the actual virus itself. It's important to understand how the virus works before we can understand how the vaccine works. And it has this lipid coat here. So if you remove the lipid coat, which I'll do with the hide tool here, you can see inside that's the genetic material of the virus. And in particular, what we're interested in is this stuff called RNA. Now, RNA contains the genetic material needed for this virus to replicate inside the cells. So here's what happens is that the virus itself using these spike proteins attaches to the ACE2 receptor, which is present on several of our cells, including these respiratory epithelial cells, and then delivers this RNA into that cell, which hijacks a few mechanisms within the cell to then replicate the virus again and again and again. And then hundreds of viruses like you saw there exit the cell to then go and infect other cells. Now, it's important that we understand what this RNA is because what the vaccine that's been created by companies like Pfizer uh, is seeking to do is that they take a little bit of this RNA, they take a snippet of it, which codes for these spike proteins, and they put it into a vaccine. So they're not taking the whole virus, they're not taking a killed version of the virus, they're taking a little piece of this virus, some RNA, some messenger RNA, putting it into a vaccine. And then much like how this virus enters the cell, the mRNA enters the cell and it gets replicated or I should say, it causes spike proteins to be created. So these are the spike proteins. And the reason why that's really important is that these spike proteins are recognized by our immune system as foreign. When they're recognized as foreign, our body creates antibodies to these uh, spike proteins. So this is what happens. These antibodies, when you actually get infected by uh, SARS-CoV-2, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, that's the virus which causes COVID-19 coronavirus, these antibodies, they already recognize these spike proteins, are already primed, and they just jump onto them. So they connect to these, they bind to these spike proteins, which means that, as you'll see here, it can't then connect to the ACE2 receptor, which means that it cannot be internalized into the cell to replicate again and again and again. The other great advantage of this is that it tags these viruses uh, for degradation. So by joining, binding onto these spike proteins, it tags them for cells like this, this immune cell, to then literally gobble up in a process called phagocytosis, these viruses. So does this mean that we can all now relax about the coronavirus that a vaccine be created? Well, not so fast because there are a couple of things. First of all, it's still undergoing testing. It's very early on. You need to see the safety and efficacy for a few more weeks than what we've seen so far. Secondly, it takes a long time to make copies of this vaccine. So uh, Pfizer is estimating maybe about 50 million copies this year in 2020, uh, up to about 1.3 billion in 2021. Uh, so in a planet that's you know seven and something billion people where maybe everyone needs to get vaccinated uh, it's still not enough for the whole world next year and then there are other issues like 
uh, it needs to be stored in minus 80 degrees Celsius or minus 112 degrees Fahrenheit, which is incredibly cold. For reference, uh, the flu vaccine only needs to be stored at around two to eight degrees Celsius, so just above freezing. So there may be a few issues to do with that. However, this is definitely a step in the right direction, and this is certainly a major improvement in uh, research for mRNA vaccines. This was a special on the coronavirus vaccine. I'm Dr. Tom. For any more of this information, please go to coronavirus.biodigital.com, where you can use these visuals for free. Please share them with your loved ones and friends. We need to fight this virus together. Still, remember, even though a vaccine is in development, wash your hands, wear a mask.